from Kentuckyana's News Channel, WHAS 11. This is Derby 124. Good morning, everyone, from historic Churchill Downs. The sun shines bright on our old Kentucky racetrack. Good morning, I'm Gary Rodemeyer, along with Melissa Swan, and welcome to our exclusive coverage of Derby 124. And ladies and gentlemen, as the crowd begins to gather here at Churchill Downs, the sun has broken out from behind the clouds. I love Derby <laughs> Day, it is great. We've been waiting for months and it's finally here through all the prep races and all the derby festivals and all the fireworks. Wonderful and once again the sun is shining on the twin spires and it looks like it's going to be a lovely derby day. And we expect this to be, well, a Titanic Derby Day. <laughs> it just, just might be a Titanic Derby In the derby year day. of the Titanic, I want to welcome you and uh, you remember that scene from Titanic? Well, here she is. Kate Winslet Swan. <laughs> well, no Kate Winslet, but then Kate Winslet isn't lucky enough to be here at the Kentucky Derby this year. It is wonderful, and I can't think of any place I'd rather be than right here at Churchill Downs, and of course, coming to you in your homes as you celebrate with your parties and your friends. It is a wonderful Derby day. Literally, just a couple of minutes ago, the sun began to peek through the clouds here Boy, at Churchill Downs, mm. and people were applauding the sun. Reason to applaud already this morning. Now, I want to ask you. Uh -huh. Do you remember, of course, you, you remember this just like it was yesterday. <laughs> Who won the Derby in the year of the Titanic? That would be 1912. 1912. Uh, gee, I think it uh, was. Wait a minute, wait a minute, don't tell. Let's, okay. let's, let's, go, to the, uh, let's go to the source book here. <laughs> Here's our official uh, a Derby glass. Did you, was, did you drink this earlier this morning? <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> we borrowed it from a very okay. nice lady in the crowd who had had it already this morning. <laughs> uh, 1912, this is worth, this is worth. These so, glasses come so in handy for more than drinks. Worth won the Kentucky Derby just about a month after the Titanic sank, right. so that, that for history. And uh, the year you were born, who won? Needles, I do know that one without checking the glass. And uh, as a baseball fan, I was born uh, the year that Shutout won the Kentucky Derby, so <laughs> I, think it, I think it refers to my uh, my hitting average. So. <laughs> so many interesting things going to go on here at the Kentucky Derby today. We hope you stay with us for our day-long coverage. We'll be with you right up until 4.30 when we hand it over to ABC, and they will show you the Kentucky Derby in all of its splendor. And Here's we have the, the, the beautiful program, of course, that's uh, done especially, they're working on the track back there. <laughs> Looks done good. especially for the Kentucky Derby yesterday. We had women and fillies for the Oaks. This year we have uh, beautiful horses coming down the stretch. The work of uh, Bogoslav Lushtik. He is a Polish born, born now, artist. And but great. what's inside is more important to folks like me. <laughs> and, you know they include I, this pink sheet. It, it has the words to my old Kentucky home. And what happens is, I don't know if you've been in the crowd when they sing My Old Kentucky Home, but it goes something like this. Until you get Until to you weep, weep no more. more. <laughs> Everybody well, knows that well, part. Well, here are the words so people can get out their pink slip this That's afternoon. Right. And uh, everyone will know yeah. every word to My Old Kentucky Home. It's, it's a beautiful song by Stephen Foster, of course, and now we can all sing it with <laughs> without being embarrassed. Keep that handy. Well, we have our glass, which is our reference and our words to my old Kentucky home and Derby 124 complete coverage here exclusive coverage on Kentucky Anna's news channel we'll continue in just a moment we'll be right back we'll be here all day and we're gonna have a great time at Churchill Downs stay with us everybody as there you are looking at the infield gates opened at 8 a.m. and people began streaming in for Derby 1998 the 124th running we'll be right back To Churchill Downs, everyone. There is the winner circle for Derby 124. Later today, about 5:45, you will see the winner of the Kentucky Derby. The only time of the year that that is used. And welcome back. I'm Melissa Swan, along with Gary Rodemeyer. You know, a lot of people were out at the track yesterday. 94,400, as a matter of fact, and they uh, placed bets on the Kentucky Derby. You can do that on Oaks Day, and they changed the odds. They it's sure did. Uh, Indian Charlie was the uh, was the favorite. Uh, in the morning line, but by the time the local uh, bettors were through on Oaks Day, we had a new favorite. Let's go to Gary Gupton and find out who that is. Gary? 
Well, let's see. We're going to run to the odds for the first time on this Saturday morning. We're here at the winner's circle. All the races will use this place except for the Kentucky Derby, which will go to post a little bit later on this afternoon. We are 48 minutes away from post time for the first race. It could be a deja vu situation for favorite trick. Last year on Derby Day, he was just a two year old and won by a nose in the WHAS 11 TV stakes. This year, the competition's a little stiffer, possibly. The horse a little older, maybe a little better than a nose. We'll find out. Jeff Lifson for Derby 124. That is very interesting. Secretariat losing its last race before the Derby. Also horse of the year. If you're looking at favorite trick, that may have uh, been what put you over the edge there. Secretariat was third in the Wood Memorial. Who was third in the Wood Memorial this year? Parade Ground. Parade Ground. Look out. Well, <laughs> you never know. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Terry Miners uh, is uh, our reporter out in the infield, and I don't know who's in more danger. Terry, are the people in the infield, and uh, he is out there today, and someone, I suppose, he always talks about mayor for life, but now he's talking about the mayor of the infield. Terry? Thank you, guys. That's right. They're pouring into the infield still, coming through this tunnel. This is the one where you're allowed to bring in chairs, picnic tables, home furniture, lazy boy recliners. It doesn't matter. I guess this guy's probably going to have a throne because I've already found the only crowned head out here, and that's the mayor of the infield. How are you, mayor? Hello, Louisville. You actually have a business card that makes you the mayor of the infield? Well, I think it's more than just a business card, of course, but uh, yes, I do. Davy Teabags Humes, buy me a drink and I'll leave you alone. That's a slogan. That's a winning slogan. Uh, <laughs> it works. Every mayor needs a deputy mayor, though. Can I get one for you? I'd be delighted. Okay, because he's, he's got to have the, the qualities of integrity and honesty. Well, I've... Sure. Okay, let's have a look. If you say it. so. Could you be deputy mayor of the infield today, oh, just in I, case? Yeah, I think so. Just in case he's caught in a compromising position or no, something. No, right no right? problem. Okay, let me see your hat here. What do you got? Who, whose autographs are on there? Bill Elliott and Harry Gant. Who's Harry Gant? NASCAR. Oh, he's a NASCAR yeah, guy. The guy with a big, heavy foot. He's got a foot that weighs a pound and a <laughs> yeah, half, I yeah. suppose. And uh, this over here, this parrot, what does this signify? Been to every derby we've been to. It's the 15th one. <laughs> well, congratulations, deputy mayor. Well, listen, I believe this gives you the opportunity to go anywhere you want now that I've named you deputy mayor. Oh, okay. So if you want to go up on Millionaire's Row and slap no, Robert no, Duvall around, no you feel problem, free to, huh? okay? All right, well, here they are, the mayor and deputy mayor of the infield, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any problems with sewers, sanitation, anything like that, come see these guys. Be glad to help you out. Yeah. We'll have you vote for somebody else next year. From the infield, in Derby 124, I'm Terry Myers. Uh, put them on a ballot. I think we'd vote for either one of them. <laughs> Problems with sanitation in the infield? I can't imagine. I can't imagine. <laughs> well, the windows, the betting windows have just opened here at Churchill Downs. They're betting on the first race. That race is the Dark Star. The Dark Star is named after the winner of the 1953 Derby. Dark Star upset what would have been a triple crown winner in Native Dancer. But Dark Star came out of nowhere to win that race, one of the longest shots ever. And there you see that the beer tents are open and getting customers already. And the uh, curly fries in the infield there at Churchill Downs. A lot of activity, as you know. A lot of uh, muddy spots left over from yesterday when, uh, or earlier in the week when we had a lot of rain. Yesterday, of course, just a few sprinkles out here, but it threatened all day. We were pleasantly surprised it didn't come to I pass. I thought curly fries was a chip sheet. <laughs> that <laughs> too, maybe. By a guy named Curly, yeah. <laughs> and we want to go down to Ken Schultz to find out what this Derby Day is going to to be like weather wise and Ken so far so good in fact I'm seeing some blue skies more and more as the hour goes on oh you guys just missed it it was beautiful we had the parade of the Ford tractors as they're working on the track <laughs> it's absolutely phenomenal there but uh, it's one of those little early derby traditions that we're used to here on the uh, track side uh, I'll tell you this much uh, we have uh, Reed Yaden up in uh, Sky 11 and he's just kind of going up and down through the clouds and mixing it up a little bit and that's helping to poke a little bit of sunshine through the region. Let's take a look though at our storm team next rad radar and show you what we have going. And there you see it from the rooftop of Churchill Downs in the distance. The future home of Papa John Stadium Cardinal Stadium taking shape there. A lot of people didn't know that uh, you could see it so well here from the grandstand sort of at Churchill Downs. Yeah, a friend of mine said yesterday, what's that new building over there? <laughs> it said, says Papa John's says Papa on the John's side. Papa John's Cardinal <laughs> Stadium. One way that you can see Papa John's Stadium so well is to fly into Standard Field, uh, Louisville International, and uh, just off to the right as you come in the flight path, you can keep track of the uh, of the construction over there. And uh, very interesting because uh, I think it's going to be uh, one of the biggest events in this city's history when that new stadium opens uh, with a game between the University 
University of Louisville and the University of Kentucky this mm -hmm. fall. I think it's going to be an event that's going to give football a brand new boost and with a brand new coach, John L. Smith, who brand Rachel Platt is going to interview uh, Monday night here on the news channel. Mm -hmm. Interesting guy and from what I've seen of the promos, looks like a great interview coming up. He, he has such a wonderful sense of humor and a very dry wit, so uh, I'm sure he was a great interview. So, uh, we're going to go to Gary Gupton. Go Gary Gupton, okay. And he's going to tell us about the first race. You know, there are several races on the card here at Churchill Downs, one even after the Derby. Gary's going to tell us about the very first one, the Dark Star, and also again tell us more about those Derby odds. Gary? Thanks, Gary and Melissa, and good morning to you. Gary and Melissa, if, if you look at my mic flag here, I've noticed you guys are wearing the official station colors today, and you both look great. Oh, now you didn't realize that that, that was one of the prerequisites for being here today. I guess you missed that memo. Huh? I did. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Have you seen my program here? No, I was wondering who you have in the 2,000 guineas. Uh, I'm picking Zara. That's the four to five pick. More than 140,000 people he expected here at Churchill Downs. Our Reed Yaden is up in Sky 11. He's watching the people still come in, I'm sure, Reed. Indeed, Melissa and Gary, a steady stream of people coming in, and I think a lot of people are probably pretty happy right about now because the sun is pretty well broken out here in Kentuckiana, and it's kind of burning through the clouds that have been around. You know, Sky 11 here is a great place to observe the crowd. There you're looking at the crowd through power cam in the uh, paddock area. Now, one thing becomes very, very obvious. Hats are the big fashion trend year in and year out at the Derby. We were just flying around here, and I'd estimate that probably 50% of the people you see in that shot in the paddock area have a hat on. The guys have the baseball hats or maybe the straw hats or various kinds of fashionable hats, and of course the ladies really have all out for hats. Now, that's just one of the many stories, and as you talk about here at the Derby, there's stories, stories, stories everywhere. Going to show you a little bit later some folks that are going to receive the red carpet treatment. I'm Reed Jaden live in the Sky 11 over the Kentucky Derby. From Kentucky Anna's News Channel, WHAS 11, this is Derby 124. <laughs> Welcome back to Churchill Downs. We're live here from all over the place. Doug and I are here in the gardens of uh, the Kentucky Derby Museum for you. Beautiful here. day. The sun is out. And uh, the big question, will it be back-to-back -back derby wins for Bob Baffert or a return to the winner's circle for Dwayne Lucas? Let's go to our Jeff Lifson now, who's got the latest on the upcoming race. Jeff? All right. The second race is the Keeper Hill, six furlongs.